Hello friends, I welcome you all for the session on GDNT learning together. Today we are going to discuss on an interesting and exciting uh, topic on GDNT. What is zero tolerance at MMC? You all may be surprised. What is this zero tolerance? Tolerance itself is a value of variation allowed from nominal size. How you can have zero tolerance that doesn't have any value? Let us see how it can be done and what it is first. So to address that, thus the plan of discussion for today would be to understand what is zero tolerance at MMC and how that can be achieved. What are the benefits of having zero tolerance at MMC and when you use it, what are the points you need to remember? And if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. I will definitely uh, get back to Thank you. Let's look at this. What is zero tolerance at MMC? Zero tolerance at MMC is a method of tolerancing part features that include the geometric tolerance value with a feature of size tolerance and states a zero tolerance at MMC in the feature control frame. That's what we are seeing here. The first compartment, we know that it is a geometric characteristic of position tolerance and shape of tolerance zone and critical observation at tolerance value. It is the zero tolerance at MMC with respect to primary datum A, B and C respectively. So let us understand how we can achieve it. Let's take an example of this case study where we have two plate assembly which are assembled through a fastener and a nut and projected view would be like this. So let's take one of this plate, the two holes and this is a projected view. Let the bottom surface be datum A and length be datum B and C be the datum along the width. So size of the hole is 9.9 to 9.5 for the both the hole and position tolerance of cylindrical diameter 0.2 at MMC with respect to primary datum A, secondary datum B and tertiary datum C. So we all know that zero tolerance means the tolerance value is zero at MMC. So with respect to datum A, B and C. If we convert this the position tolerance value to zero let's look at the size of the hole what happens to this look at the lower limit of the hole size that has become 9.3 the 0.2 tolerance value from the feature control frame is taken from the feature control frame and deducted from 9.5 that is 9.5 minus 0.2 gives you 9.3. So the whole available bandwidth of acceptance is 0.6. That is 9.9 .9 minus 9.3. The acceptance range of the whole has been increased. The parts which were getting rejected by the conventional method of position tolerancing are being accepted. Say when you have a tolerance value 0.2 at maximum material on the top of the first example the tolerance value was ranging between 9.9 .9 to 9.5 that is you have acceptance bandwidth of 0.4 tolerance value which has been increased this is very useful application when you have an assembly in reality it is not a tighter tolerance it is increasing the size tolerance and by that it is allowing the parts usable to be accepted. Let us summarize what are the benefits. It provides a greater flexibility for manufacturing. It prevents the rejection of usable parts that would have been rejected using a conventional position tolerance. Now those can be accepted. This can be proved using tolerance analysis, a chart used for graphical analysis of the tolerances and it reduces uh, drastically the manufacturing cost and points to remember is zero tolerance at MMC is consideration whenever the function of feature of size is assembly 
all the benefits of zero tolerance at MMC method of tolerancing are also available with straightness, parallelism, perpendicularity and angularity. <coughs> Thank you. I'm going to coming up I'm going to come up with another exciting session on bonus tolerance and many more topics. Keep a watch on my channel. Thank you. You have a great day.